Okay, now I'm recording. So, where and when were you born? I was born at Denison, Illinois, September the 25th, 1920. Okay, and who were your parents? My parents were Ruth Setzer Ferris and Harry B. Ferris. And uh, did you have brothers or sisters? I have. I had uh, two brothers and a sister. Okay. And they, do, do I need to name them? Sure. Roy B. Ferris, but he's died about three years ago. Mary Ferris and uh, Ray Ferris and okay. me. <laughs> that makes us all. Okay. And have you always lived in Marshall? Uh, well, I don't know when. Mother and Dad were divorced when I was about four years old, okay. and then we moved down to our Grandpa Setzer's. That was six miles east of Marshall. Okay. And then when I married Bob, I moved to uh, down by the Zion Church. Okay. Okay. Um, well, let's talk about the, the neighborhood where you grew up. When we were living with your grandparents, you said that was east of Marshall. What was the neighbor? Was that a farm? What was the neighborhood like? It was a farm. I can't remember. <laughs> Okay. What? You didn't live with your grandparents. Yes, I lived with my grandparents. I thought you lived with Uncle Harry's. Well, he he lived there. Oh, okay. okay. He didn't marry until a long time after that, so. Okay, and you lived there going to school and I, growing up? I lived up? there, yes, and I went to school, and I lived there until a couple years before I was married. Then Mother moved it up to the road where she lived when she died. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about some of the things you did when you were a child. What were some of your favorite activities as a child? How did you spend your time? Well, <laughs> out in our front yard there were five trees and they had branches on it where we could do acrobatic stuff, okay. so I remember okay. that. And we had a sidewalk and we finally got a bicycle. We rode the bicycle. What else did we do? Were there neighbors that you played with? Uh, the Allens moved across the road from us, and uh, Jim Allen was about my age, and we played with them. But most of them are all gone now, too. Okay. Well, Lurleen. Oh, and Lurleen Geckler, but she's gone, too, so I think they're all gone. Did you have chores? I presume we'd, we had to hunt the eggs, I remember that. Okay. Other than that and carry in firewood. I remember that because they had just cut a bunch of firewood. And Mother told me to go out and get some of that, what did she call it? I don't, anyway, I thought it was pink wood. She called it something else. Green? Okay. Well, green, I don't, don't know what she That's called it. That's what I okay. okay. Anyway, I said, well, I thought that was pink. <laughs> okay. Well, let's talk about family activities. Did you go to church? Yes, we went to church. Uncle Harry was the superintendent of the church, and we were there every Sunday. Uh, what else did we do? I just can't remember. Do you remember special meals, things, the families getting together? I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> My mind's a blank. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, that's fine. Where did you go to school? I went to school first at Pleasant Grove. That's where my brother Ray now lives. Okay. And then and then we went to uh, south of Weaver, what was that called, Pleasant Hill, and I graduated and then I went to high school, and after high school I didn't go on to, I went to Brown's Business College about a year after I graduated, and from there I got a job in Marshall at a loan company, okay. and I worked there until I married. And well, let's talk, go back and talk about school a bit more. You were, went to a couple of one-room schools? Yes. Well, what are your, your pleasant memories about school? I don't remember. We, don't remember. we had to walk to school through a field, and it took us quite a while to get there. And I remember one time when we came home from school, there was an airplane in the field there. And oh, it landed. That was quite an event. And other than that, what well, I know, but we played black man and Andy over the roof, and Essie Travoya was our, my favorite teacher. I thought she was great. Okay. And then where did you go to high school? I went to high school at Marshall. 
And what are some of the things you remember being involved with in, in, at the high school? I do remember in our, my, my freshman year of school, I did real well in school. Then by sophomore year, we had the mumps. Ray had them first, and then about a couple of weeks after that, Mother had them, Uncle Harry had them, and Mother says, Mary, or you know you'll have to get up and get breakfast. And I says, well, I've got the mumps. Mary had the mumps, too. There were about five of us had the mumps all at once, and our neighbors, the Allens, came over and cooked meals for us. Out. Okay. Okay. Did you have hobbies? No, you don't remember his particular hobbies. Okay. And then, so you got married. Where and when did you get married? I got married... September the 19th, 1942, at, uh, what was the preacher? Parsonage. No, at the Parsonage, but I can't remember the preacher. Has, has Winkle? Has Winkle, has I think, was a preacher. Okay, okay. just got married at the Parsonage. Yes. And you met, uh, his name is Bob? Bob Boyer. How did you meet him? At a, at a funeral, <laughs> I think, uh, at uh, a Finkbinder's funeral. Uncle Harry sang, and I played the piano for him, and as we came out, Sam Finkbunner sat on the porch there, and I knew him, so I spoke to him, and there was a young fellow beside him, and I didn't know him, but anyway, I noticed that he got in a very nice-looking car, and that evening he came to the door and asked if he could take me out, wow. and we went wow. to church, I remember that first okay. evening. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, and so you, you set up housekeeping in, right away? No, we didn't. I, we, we lived between my mother's and his mother's, and in the, in the spring after we were married, she moved to town, and we then lived in the house where we lived for, I don't know, how long did we, when did we build that? In 1955. We were married in 42, and in 1955? Five. Five, we built a new house. On the same spot. Mm -hmm. In the same location. Yes, and while, while we're building that house, we moved into the chicken house, and we lived in the chicken house. And oh, I thought it was wonderful. It was so nice and warm the day we moved out. And the first week, it was so nice. Then it got cold. We had to go to uptown to his mother's to take a bath. <laughs> I remember that. And I think you went to Chicago. And it was Grandma B, didn't you, for a couple of weeks? Mm -hmm. Okay. But when we moved into that new house, I just thought it was like heaven. It was just wonderful. We'd never had running water before. The bathroom, oh, it was wonderful. <laughs> Well, that sounds wonderful, and so yeah, and that was the house you've always lived in then? That's where we've always lived, okay. and I still live there. Okay, well, you said you had some jobs. Talk about some jobs that you've had. Some jobs. Some work? Did you work someplace? At the loan company, you said? What? You worked at a loan company? Well, that was before, before I was well, married. Well, oh, before you were married. married. Okay. But after I was married. Okay. Well, I did, too. I think I worked at TRW evenings from 5 until 10. Well, let's talk about your family. You had children? Yes, we had Alan, and we had Vic, and then we had Patty. Okay. And, and they were close. Alan was 16 months old, I think, when, Patty, when Vic was born, and Vic was 14 months when Patty was born. And that was during the war, and we couldn't get nipples for the bottle. And when she was about 14 months old, I couldn't get any nipples, and we were completely out of nipples. So she got she didn't she didn't drink any more milk. Uh, I remember that first night you laid on my stomach the whole night long. But after that you didn't even ask for a bottle, so we got home fine. <laughs> but the boys were different. I remember when when um, Patty was little, Vic wanted her bottle. And he got pneumonia when I think I was still at my mother's after she was born. I went to mother's for a week and Bob's mother stayed with the boys at our house, and uh, Vic got pneumonia and was in the hospital, and when he, they didn't give him a bottle of the hospital either, but when we came home, he saw Patty's bottle, he tried to take the bottle away from her. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's talk about your life in general. Have there been a particular people or events that you remember that had big event influences on your life? Help me think, Patty. Who do you particularly remember that influenced your life? Maybe Vivian down the road. Vivian? 
Vivian Maurer, my neighbor, was a great influence in my life. Okay. Other than that, I can't think of Okay, it. okay. Well, let's talk about history in general. What are the things that have happened in history do you particularly remember? My mind's a blank. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, a couple more questions. As you think about, the we said, <laughs> we're in a house without running water and so on, and then all, all of the different inventions and devices and things that we have now, what modern conveniences do you think most about? Oh, the washing machine. When we got married, we didn't have a washing machine, and they weren't making washing machines. That was during the war. And I got the first washing machine that came to Marshall, and oh, how that sure changed my way of working. Okay. Oh, my. And having a bathroom in the house, that certainly was a, made life different. Okay. Well, I have one other question for you, Una. If you were talking to somebody who wasn't from here, how would you describe Marshall, and why would you tell them you live here? Well, I think it's a great little town. <laughs> I don't know too, too many people in Marshall anymore. Mm -hmm. It seems like I'm, I think all the ones that I went to school with have all died, and I'm about the oldest one that was in my class. What else can I say about it? Well, that's, that's fine. I, you've, you've given us good information, and I appreciate your stories and, and all the different things. This is going to be interesting for people to listen to. Oh, so I, I thank you very much for... Oh, sure. for Welcome.